This piece of information could make you have a, an even better value for money in gaming PC and have the same performance of the Ryzen 7600 and on the same AM5 platform. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I think you are living under a rock and I think you should know about that. But first, press that like button, subscribe because that really helps me, it really helps me. We need to get to 7000 subs, it's been long overdue. And yeah, we're gonna make this short and sweet and let's get to what we are talking about. So the Ryzen 5 7600 goes for $230 right now and still holds true as one of the best sub $250 CPUs that you can get for gaming right now. It's the dream. It's a 65 watt TDP CPU, so it doesn't consume that much power. It doesn't need the highest end cooling to run for gaming. I mean, the cooler that it comes with is okay if you're only gaming, but if you're doing the productivity and you want to keep the temps down, you need an aftermarket cooler. Yeah, and you are on AM5 platform, DDR5 and the upgrade pass to the infamous Ryzen 7800X3D and the next gen Ryzen CPUs in general that should or hopefully will be still uh, a, a, a decent options in the future. Because there is a simple fact that there is another CPU on the market right now that's identical to this CPU, but you'd have to wait around a week or two before you get it. But the biggest catch is that this CPU is for $150. So you are saving around $70 to $80 if you were to get this CPU from AliExpress. And this is the AMD Ryzen 7500F. Uh, yeah, numbers are hard right now. <laughs> so hey, this is the same CPU as you can see from the benchmarks right now. The only difference is that that 7500F actually uh, doesn't have an integrated GPU. And you don't need an integrated AMD GPU anyways if you are doing only gaming. And integrated GPUs from AMD systems in general are not that useful when it comes to the 3D intensive applications or anything like that. So this not, you know, it's not an option in my opinion that makes that much use of. So yeah, you are saving a lot of money. You're saving $70 to $80 if you decided to just get the same CPU but without an integrated GPU and get an after market cooler so you're getting better temps you don't need the stock cooler anyways if you were to get the Ryzen 5 7600 and on top of all that you are saving a ton of money and you're not losing any performance so that's why I really like that option that's why I'm never recommending the Ryzen 5 7600 before I tell you that there is that CPU from AliExpress that will save you around $100 if you were to get it from there. So you have to keep that in mind. It's the same CPU, no integrated GPU and good performance. So yeah, I would go with something based on my budget, really. I really, I have a lot of options in my mind, but what that comes at the top of the list is the RX 7900 XT and the RTX 4070 Ti Super. So if you're building a 1440p slash 4K gaming PC, I think this is a good solution in my opinion. And uh, if you are building on the 1440p only, I'm right now at the time of making this video, I'm really leaning towards the RX 6800 and I feel like this is the best value for money GPU on the whole market right now. So there's something to keep in mind, I leave that to you. But I feel like it's okay to pair a CPU like that with stuff like an RTX 4060. Uh, I'm building a sub $800 to $900 PC, for example. I'm, I'm okay with going with an RTX 4060. So that's why I'm saying you can go low end, you can go high end. It really depends on what you really need. And that's why I really like this CPU that is really versatile. It's for $150 to $170 cooler included, you know and uh, you can go with the highest end GPU you could go with. And this shows you how greedy the GPU manufacturers are. Like a $150 CPU is okay with an $800 GPU. People say it's crazy, but it's crazy that we're paying $800 in general. So yeah, it is what it is, but there you have it. This is why you should never buy the Ryzen 5 7600 before this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.